Drake called me and told me that he was feeling ill and that he would not be able to um, film with us, I was, I didn't know what to feel or how to feel because in one point, it's like the show must go on and this, but then there's a second point that's like, wow, he is one of the main people in the show there are five of us we all bring something to the show and if it's if we if we can't do it with him are we going to really have the same kind of camaraderie the same kind of um feeling that um that we did the last episode so um i thought it was important for him to like be here and and, and try to stick it out woke up that day feeling terrible. Honestly, I didn't really want to go. I kind of called um, Riley and told her that I probably wasn't gonna make it and everything. And the later it got and closer it got to go time, I decided to film because, I mean, I love, I love this. I mean, I love this, I love the idea. I love what we do and I don't want to leave my crew or have them go to a situation and I'm not there. I will always be there. private room was lit I wanted to take the sword off the wall and like swing it there were so many like decor items that they have that uh, went towards like games and everything they even had a paddle which was kind of weird but it was cool our next mission is Molly Stark named after General John Stark the history is it opened in 1929 at the tuberculosis hospital it stayed a hospital until 1995 okay uh, had TV Patients to 1970s. Right. Technically, is a mental facility and a rehab. Okay, so it, it was once a um, a uh, tuberculosis hospital. Then it became a regular hospital. Yes. And then a it rehab. became a rehab. Yes. Okay. And mental facility slash rehab. Okay. The building. We'll say more about the building. Yeah. It was inspired by Spanish arrival style. They thought the sunlight and fresh air were necessary for patient recovery and that. Um, so, so the, you're talking about tuberculosis, right? So, what are they trying TB. to do? For, huh? TB. Is that tuberculosis? Mm -hmm. Okay. Tuberculosis is a an infection that um, affects um, your lungs. So, what was the what were like? Is it about temperature or what? Um, they wanted to be um, outside. They mm -hmm. thought that that would cure them. Yeah, they thought that nature lungs clear. Like fresh air. Mm -hmm. Clear oh, okay. lungs, yeah. Okay. That's right. So there's going to be a lot of open spaces. Mm -hmm. Balconies, I'm going to say. The main balcony is going to be left. And that's, that's literally where I want to be, but I don't know how to say it. What? The main yeah. balcony is in the front. So? You can see it from the parking lot. Uh, well, I, I think we should all go in parts. together. We have walking time to split. I think we should. I mean, I while we're walking down the hallway, we can split off into different rooms if we want, but I think we should just stay, stay as a unit. Yeah. yeah. This place is bona fide. What are your questions? There have been, like, if there have been footstep fever, there are apparitions. Other people at Molly Stark had experienced a bunch of um, ghost action. They've actually seen ghosts walk up to them and then just disappear. Um, there was a lot of scary stuff that people seen um, throwing things and all that. And it, it, you know, when there's a, when there's so much negativity in one page or or a, a negativity, it was a tuberculosis hospital where. You know, people didn't know exactly what tuber tuberculosis was. And the government were forcing people out of their homes 
to go into these particular hospitals um, to um, kind of um, quarantine them from society. And then when they were there, they undergo a lot of different um, treatment that were inhumane and they did just to try to figure out what this could have been so this negative energy people weren't there happy but now but it used to be like they were like it was a destiny so could you imagine being in that situation at that a long long ago and not knowing if you would live or die or what you even had that misery that like that everything just lives in that and then it was a hospital and if anybody knows going to a hospital you know you already feel it's just eerie, kind of right? you know that's why people don't like going to the hospitals because it's that this negative energy behind it this sorrow so so all and then on top of it after the hospital it was a rehabilitation and mental like people people who were there were there who had died there they were not in a good positive space these people were in miserable times of their lives there yeah. it's no happy there's no problem Edgar Allan Poe is my favorite Arthur because um some of his poetry when you picture poetry you always picture something upbeat happy or something like that but when he wrote these short stories or these short poems they were really dark and like morbid um, and he dealt with a lot of pain throughout his life so and his life was plagued by tuberculosis or his family members or wife having tuberculosis and dying the basement. My mom, I guess she used to work there. Oh, and she, and she told me that what they used to do is whenever somebody would die, they put them down this like this shoot thing that shoots them down to the basement, and then they put them in the, the morgue plate thing. Your mom worked at my heart. Yeah, and around like wherever it was starting to shut down, and they're evacuating everybody out of it. And there's history. There's history there, and this is one of the most. Think it's on the 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 energy at Molly Stark was very eerie. It was very um, quiet and scary, and it had a weird smell. Y'all, y'all, hold on, wait for me. I'm just trying to get in gear and everything. Can you hold me? Can you hold this for me? Okay, and now. Okay. I felt like it was important to place glow sticks around Molly Stark as we um, explored it because my only issue was I felt like that we were going to um, at some point get lost and so I was I was terrified I didn't want to get lost in this big huge building um, so I felt like the glow sticks would help us kind of follow our paths and know where we had once been so. <laughs> What the fuck is L? Oh. Huh? That was me. Okay. So. Not Pusha, I see.
Nak bus es ni. The fact that they had elevator. Yeah. Main tunnel. Flip to turn off the dark. Hey, no, I ain't flipping up nothing. Side ask me. Yeah, I just wonder if that looks like the window. What? There's an upstairs. Oh, sorry. What is that upstairs? Y'all. Yeah. Oh, upstairs. Y'all want to go here? We're Dude, guys are, we gonna have to blur this out. Let's do it like this. Where's my brothers? It looks bloody. Alright, let's not stay by this window too long. You just have to roll that? There's just this door. There's a. Yeah, there's some stuff on the floor. Paperwork and stuff. No, I think he's not. Do you think so? Why would someone bring those up here in here? Years and years ago. There's more stairs. There's more stairs. What are these stairs going to? Uh uh. -uh. See? Yeah, I heard something down there. Me too. Is Ray down there? Ray. It echoes. Ray. Okay. I think this is the downstairs. This is the Lord. How you know? I decided to take the lead during the tunnel scene because. One of my main goals was to investigate the tunnels because I knew just something weird was happening in these tunnels. Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't build tunnels for good times, you know? You build tunnels for business and weird shit. You know, you know what I'm saying? There's a tunnel. Did you say, is there water? Yeah, there's water. That's what I'm saying. I think. I don't want to step it out of my shoes. Like, what? Something. Oh. It's a bat. Really? Okay, that might be stuck on. And also, can we? It's just a little bit money. Y'all gonna keep coming? Yeah. Y'all just gonna keep going? So in the tunnel, if I had to describe it to you to kind of put you there, I'd say very wet, um, damp, like you couldn't, it was hard to keep grip with your feet, um, very dark, and just almost claustrophobic. It wasn't very big of a tunnel.
Is there no bat? I low key want to know. You alright? You guys alright? This is what he said the the, the the title the Oh my goodness. No, I can't. We're 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 down stairs, Eric. We're down in like a place. Dropping glow sticks. You guys are dropping glow sticks, right? Yeah. We'll be alright. Yo, yo, yo. I was terrified of the bat because. The first episode, we had went to Helltown, and there was a bat in Helltown, and the bat was chilling. Then when we go to, to Molly Stark, there's a bat in the tunnel, and I'm like, dang. And the first thing that I think of is, dang, this guy, this thing has rabies. And then on top of it, he was attacking us. Like, it wasn't just like he was just real calm and collective. This bat was not playing games. So I'm like... This bat could definitely have rabies, or he could be a vampire. Either way, I wasn't fucking with it. I don't want to get bit by it. <laughs> I have no idea who laughed that was. I think it was a woman's voice, and it definitely wasn't any of us because it happened during the bat scene. So it's like that was a more serious time. So I don't think anything was funny. So I think it was a ghost. <laughs> I don't know who laughed. I'm I'm guessing that they thought it was funny or the spirit thought it was funny that we was getting our ass whooped by a bat. Which is kind of funny. <laughs> um and the team got back to me and was like, Was it you laughing? Um I was not laughing. Um it sounded like a old old lady you know what I'm saying? And she was laughing at something, but I'm pretty sure she was laughing at me being attacked by the bat. So then what are we doing now? The fact that there's a tunnel like this is why? What could they possibly do? The bat is following us. Yeah, Shut up. Yeah, we're going to be the bat. You was not afraid of that back in Helltown. Alright, let's go this way. Are you sure? Yeah. You okay? Yeah, bro, that bad, bro. Attacks you? It attacks you? It's okay, everyone, it's because the lights are on, so we need to go back. We need to go back. I was sitting there looking down the tunnel, and I just noticed, or right before I went to look down the other tunnel, I just seen the bat out of the corner of my eye fly right towards me. So, like, I was just nervous I was going to get bit or something. Definitely the bat made me fall because I was trying to not to get bit. What happened, man? How many bats are upstairs? It's dark tunnel. And then we just get raided with them. No, we need to go back up. You okay, babe? Yeah, I'm alright. Okay. Yeah, let's go to the next floor. Cause I'm fucking with these bats. We was if we kept going there, that bats was about to start whooping our ass. fucking with the bat he was not fucking with that bat as soon as that bat came towards him it was time to head the other way what where the kitchen how you know 
Can we open it? No. No. I have no idea what is huge. It looks like there could have been a um Everybody okay? Sorry, sorry, I feel like the crew did leave me behind multiple times. Uh, and they were saying something about last time how I was, you know, running away from them, but you know. I kind of got left behind by uh, a couple times. And then especially, you know, Mr. Ray going after me on the last confessional. One, two, three, I'm about to turn the fuck up. Not worry about nobody who got bodies when she's There's steps down there, and a window. I should have looked at that balcony. You said what? Yeah, there's upper balcony. I feel like this looks familiar. Did we go this way? Yeah. No, no, no. We went downstairs. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Me too. I've only seen a little bit. There's no stairs from here? Okay, but I can actually feel fresh air right here. So we going back, we going up or we going down? Because I feel like going down is we're supposed to be going up, yeah. yeah. No, he said, what fresh air are you feeling? Huh? I put the glow sticks where? There's another glow stick like somebody else. No, I think I did that. The one up here? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, I didn't do that. But they probably had the same idea we had. So we thought there would be a bunch of lines. Yeah, offices maybe. Mm -hmm. There's a drinking fountain. Mm -hmm. Oh, you heard that, babe? Yeah, I did hear that. Oh, okay, I don't got that to do. I heard it. It sounded like glass. I'm hearing something in here, too. 
Yeah. It was like something like glass move. Like Eric captured. Where are you? What's happening? What? What's going on? He's not moving. He's going. Wait. I don't know what I'm just saying in general. I'm serious. I got you. You okay? Sorry. Is there anything here that wants to say? Balcony? Ooh, that is a balcony. Lights. Lights. Three items I saw were a bunch of graffiti, um, there was pill bottles, there was a bunch of hospital documents that were still there from like 1900s, it was a lot. Ring bell for service. Should we go down there? Yeah. Let's go this way. Come on, baby. You're going this way. You feeling okay? Mm -hmm. You okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you. Mm -hmm. right. You hot? Just because you got the damn hoodie on, hat on, everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it did. For a minute. Is there anything out there? <laughs> you sound tired. Look at all these. I don't want to say anything. Probably. We'll make themselves known. Fire escape. Okay. You okay? Everybody okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's a dead end. The main balcony. So we're on our break on the main balcony and we're really just taking in like the beauty of the building and everything. And then a car decides to come through the parking lot of Molly Stark and we're like ducking down at this point because we're like terrified we don't know who this is um so we end up seeing that they turned now where Molly Stark is there's another building next to it that is like a nursing home or whatever and so they turned into that parking lot we thought that it was maybe someone on their night shift going into that little uh, clinic or that little old person's home to do their shift um, so we're thinking that then we pop back up and we're all cool. A couple seconds later, we see like figures coming and we're like, dang, they're walking towards us. It's two people. So we're like, okay, so they're coming here. So we ended up like now trying to like, what do we do? Like at some point we're going to have to, um, be in contact with these people. When we left the balcony, trying to figure out like at some point we're going to have to encounter these people. Thank <laughs> you.
It's a dead end down here. Came back from up here. Yeah. Let's go back here. We can't see her. We didn't go down this way though. The place behind us. That way. Let's go this way, y'all. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Cause I yeah, wait. I told her to choose. Was that way? For now, you want to turn on your light? No, I don't. I can't. All the curves. You just press the button, right? You see? Oh, no, what is it? That's another balcony, I think. That's another balcony, be careful. Alright, watch your lights. We are officially on the fourth floor. Another balcony? Oh no, this. This is sketch. Yeah. Get, get, a, get a pick up at them. It's like the floor the, 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 the craving in this nose. It's not good. This is where over there. Can we cross over? Yeah. Um, so the scene of wherever we thought it was another balcony, we reached the top of the building, and wherever I first looked out, I thought it was like a big gymnasium type thing or you know an auditorium type thing but then i realized that we was on the roof part and the roof was caved in starting to cave in and larry was just walking out i was nervous for him he might fall through it's too soft, all right yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah if larry calls it he calls it because at first you didn't know, it doesn't look like it. It just looks like a room, like you're just stepping out into a room, you're just like, okay, like. But then, I maybe, I don't know, because it was dark, I couldn't see the walls, but when you step out, you feel this blissful, cool air that just hit my face. And I'm like, yeah, this is the roof. Because it was hot as fuck. And the roof was so soft like you could tell you could, it was a big ass hole in it like somebody that already cartoon fell through the motherfucker so i was like nah this is not a go I, I don't know how much we weigh as a group like you know what i'm saying i know how much i weigh i've been eating a lot you know what i'm saying i'm a little you know what i'm saying i got a little fat or whatever but all of us together we probably like a hippo like and we was gonna crash right through that bitch cameras and all <laughs> Mm -hmm. Keep filming out until we get out. We could just keep taking it down. Okay. Yeah, I think so. How's this looking? <laughs> Wait, I think that's the basement, right? Careful. It is the basement. I don't know if we were on this floor or the next floor. Yeah. Now. I don't know. Let's just try this floor first, I guess. 
I think we're lost. This is what I didn't want to happen. I didn't want us to get lost in this big, huge building. And so I honestly got terrified. Um, I kept remembering, like, I'm going to go, we're going to go insane trying to figure out where, how to get back out of this building because there's, it's, it literally feels like a maze. And I was like, we're going to like die here going insane trying to get out. That's going to be the doozy. There's, is that a TV? There's nursing beds in here, y'all. No, we gotta go one more down. One more way down. I hear cars outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we gotta go one more down. We gotta go one more down. Come on. Should we go back that way? Or we'll find should be another staircase somewhere. I hope. Here's the one. Mm -hmm. Another staircase. Never gone down there. That might be from outside. That definitely had to be from outside. I don't know if we should go in the room. It's got a window. I think we should just try to let's get out. Let's get out, yeah. I believe Raylan did rush the investigation. He definitely had his reasons. He wasn't feeling good, but definitely I felt like we could have got a lot more footage that we didn't get, especially in the rooms and like maybe stopping and given our thoughts throughout the process but I definitely think from him not feeling well he definitely kind of sped it up for us a bit so that's the only thing I wish we could have done better was just got more footage on this episode oh yeah <laughs> How the fuck do we get out of this? Yeah. Okay. Is it first other room? Are you gonna fall through? Just be careful. It's lost. Um, I believe I heard something. And. I don't know if I heard the other people or something else, you know, but if we wanted to catch good f footage, I wanted us to quiet it down and get it on tape. If not, then also being safe and kind of knowing what's coming, that something's coming towards us. To this point, I don't give a fuck. I'm trying to get out. Just be careful, it's really soft. Let's go back down this way. I don't think that's the way. You are lost. We have to be on the ground floor, right? We're definitely on the ground floor, I think. 
Yeah, if we if we're oh, yeah, gone this for a week, go back this way. Go back this way. We need to see glow stick. Right there's a glow stick. We just gotta look for the room now. Are you sure? Cause yeah, I would have put a glow stick. It's Lilo G from the Question Mark Crew. Um, you know what to do. Like and subscribe. And I'm out of here. Yep, yeah, we walk down this way. I absolutely redeemed myself this investigation. Um, I was definitely more excited than nervous this time. It was um, very fun. It was a good experience. Bye! Wait, this is the window. Thanks, guys. See you next episode. Episode three. Mm -hmm. Lights out. Lights out, man. Uh huh. No, it was there. It was there. It was there. Yeah, we were right too. Lights out. Who is that? Is that Larry? Oh my God. Ray, you good? Yeah. Sure. Just a big guy. My God. Just what you mean? I couldn't see shit. As we were leaving, I was the last one out and we kind of cut our lights off and I was the last one out. But as we were walking out, I had like my knife and pepper spray out hand in hand. So, and as I'm going out the window, I'm also looking back to try to see what's behind me. Um, and yeah, didn't feel anything, fell, and it was kind of scary. And I'm glad like Larry was there and everybody was there because you know, Larry and them rushed over because they knew I had my knife and it was dangerous. It could have went a different way. This your boy Raylan Van. I thank all the fans and keep on rocking with us because we rocking with y'all. Gang. Made it out. Made it out one piece. Made it out one piece. Hey. I feel great. Y'all thought we wasn't going to? We're gonna deliver for sure. Every time. Alright, we out, y'all. Like she go. Make that ass clap like a high heel. Better not tell your man no. Cause both y'all niggas could die for real. Smoking exotic, I got from a guy. You play with the pug, you get lightning like sky.